guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial using all MAC products. Um, yeah, so I've just got a collection of MAC stuff here that I have in front of me, so I'm just going to go straight in and do it. So first of all, I'm going to put some primer moisturizer on my face, so I'm going to use my strobe cream, and I have this one in pink light. I really like this one, I've been using this one for years. I know I've been away from YouTube for a while. I said I was gonna, you know, be consistent and keep it up, but I had a little bit of news. Um, I'm pregnant. Yeah, I'm five months pregnant, and I find out what I'm having in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, the first couple of months were so rough. I was having such a hard time of it. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better now. So I decided today I would do a little bit of a makeup haul and review everything. Most of these products, to be honest. I have been using for years. I'm a bit of a Mac girl. Um, yeah, I just love their products. I think they're, they do exactly what they say they're going to do. There's no messing around. So, I have my primer on. I've used the strobe cream. I love how it just gives you that nice illuminating glow along with my extra pregnancy glow. So now I have that. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. Now, I usually use a mixture of a two because I have a bit of a tan on now. I've been away on holidays, so... Um, yeah, let me check and see what colour I actually am. I reckon it's somewhere between these. Yeah. Go ahead with this one. My, it's my Pro Longwear. As you can see, it's well used and well loved. I use it a lot. Um, NC in NC25. So this one is, they're more of a, a satin finish. But I do build it up until I get like a full, finish, full coverage finish out of it. So that is that on. I don't think I'm going to put another layer on. I think that's that's enough. Usually I would put another layer on, but I'm just not feeling it today. Not that I'm feeling sick or anything, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm feeling very tired these days. Like, really tired. It's like I was at work at the weekend, and every, every time I work at the weekends, and then I, you know, go to do something on a Monday, I'm just like, oh, Mondays are a bad day for me. I just barely get up in the morning to bring the kids to school. Just feel totally drained. Okay, so that's the foundation on NC25 Pro Longwear. I prefer it than the Studio Fix. Sometimes, again, it just depends on my skin and what, what way it's behaving. Um, normally, I would wear the Studio Fix if I'm looking for a more full coverage matte finish. But these days, like, I'm living for the glow, you know. So, it's summer. Go with it. Um, why not? So, yeah, that's on. I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to go ahead now with my concealer. The one I use the most is the MAC... Um, Again, Pro Longwear Concealer. I just like this one because it's quick. I hate messing around with concealers. I just, I just do. They, I don't know why, but concealers sometimes irritate me. I'm just like, why can't the foundation do everything? I suppose there is some that do that, but I don't know if I did. But this one, anyhow, is the one I use. And I use it in a, quite a light shade because I like this area to be nice and highlighted put a dollop there and another one there and then I get my beauty blender and I have it dampened already so it's ready to rock I like using a damp beauty blender on my eyes because I've got very very sensitive eyes so I find that the water um, just kind of like it doesn't make my eyes so sensitive maybe just because it's pushing that little extra bit of moisture actually into my eyes so I'm 
just going to set that with my um, Studio Water Weight um, Powder. Now I like this because it comes in two different colours. So I usually use this one for setting the under eye area. So I'll just get my little 141 Primark brush. I just find this really lifts that area, as you can kind of see in the... And I always, also just put a little bit anywhere where I'd normally get oily, so like around my nose area and the chin. It just stops the makeup from lifting later on. Now, the next thing I like to go in with is my Give Me Sun. This is beautiful. I have been using this. Again, this has been a go-to of mine for years. But then, you know, when new products come out and you you go through stages of buying stuff and then you leave it there and you forget about it. But it's always a, one that I'll come back to every, every time. glowy look and you don't have to keep digging into the pan for it either it's just literally like a few little taps and you get enough out of it just do it under the chin get rid of all my my triple chins that have probably quadrupled in the last five months i was doing um my my healthy eating weight watchers experience as i'm sure if you watched the previous video i think i talked about that well, that went down the swanny fairly quickly. Like, I'm still trying to be healthy during this pregnancy, but sometimes I'm just like, I just want what I want. Just give it to me. No. Whatever's left of the rest of the brush. Run it around your nose there. So that is my give me some. Now sometimes I do this, and I think I might do it today. I go in for a little bit of extra dimension into the um into the cheekbones. So I use my matte bronze as well because why not? So matte bronze, you see that there? Yeah. So just do here just to give me that extra bit of definition. Now I'm also gonna go in with my um, Studio Fix Powder Foundation NW25, just to set anywhere that I haven't set. I'm using a flat top brush. Going in with a little bit of highlighter, and this is my favourite, soft and gentle. I've only actually began to notice that this is actually getting more flatter from the more use I use it. I have been using this for ages, and it still hasn't even like. Now it's beginning to go down because that's because I'm layering highlighter on. I'm just like, make a dint. I have two other ones that I want to use. <laughs> little pouch as they say 
because that's my soft and gentle. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my um, Fix Plus because I like to use this a lot when I'm doing, <coughs> excuse me, when I'm doing makeovers on people I actually use this a lot because I just find it keeps your skin so hydrated and it just makes the makeup look really really nice and not cakey. Mm. I'm not going to lie, I have had put this in the fridge because here it's just too hot these days and I'm just, you know. So you can see I have the skin well drenched there now, but it'll dry up in a second. I haven't got it on my mirror. God bless me. So, next thing I'll do is my eyebrows. I know some people like to do these first. Well, I was always done them last. That's how I continue. And I'm using the Velvet, Velvet Stone. Yeah, Velvet Stone. So it's like a wee dark brown. I had a spiked around somewhere. Oh, we'll use this one for now, anyway. Yeah. I like this brush as well because it comes with a little spoolie on the end of it. So you can just blend everything out. You can literally see the straw cream work underneath my makeup. You can kind of see that glow as the light catches it. So there we are with that one. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, this is a paint pot. So it's a Pro Longwear paint pot in soft ochre. Um, just kind of use this as a little bit of a base for underneath your eyeshadow. It just keeps everything longer. I've noticed like since I got pregnant is that my eyelids are getting really, really greasy. I've never had that problem before. But now I do. And also my eczema is broke out just on the inner, in here, like just in there, that bit. So every time I put like concealer down or foundation, it just literally lifts it right off. So the prolonged way seems to make it last. It's able to stick onto the skin and not, um, oh, the beautiful butterfly just outside. I've got very into my gardening lately and they're drawn to all my flowers and my herbs. Yes, yeah, so I use the soft ochre one because it's the more yellow of the, now there is loads of them. Um, Painterly is the pinky one and normally in winter I'd wear that one because I'm, I don't tan really much in winter unless I'm going out. Um, which now the, this winter I'll be giving birth so that'll be, oh, whoo, mm. yeah. nervous about it again this is the third time around for me so hmm. what am I doing to myself so this is a MAC palette and inside this I have just basically customized my palette there I have two of them here Um, you just make up whatever you want you just buy the individual little pans and yeah so the color I'm going in with now is flump floof floof flump floof I think it's floof I always pronounce I always pronounce everything wrong. If you're watching my channel, you'll know. Um, but basically, it's oh, it's nearly empty. But these two here are floof. If I'm pronouncing that right. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this. Today's eyeshadow makeup is going to be really simple. And, and I say that now, and by the time I'm finished, it'll probably be full on drag. But you're here. I'm just trying to use this one up before I. I want to pop it because I have another one to pop into it. So I'm just going to do that all over the eyelid. I really like floof. I think it's just a really nice, or flump or whatever it's called. Um, I've been using this one. That's my third pan of that color. I've been using it that long. There's another color I want to buy. It's called um, Steamy. Steamy. And I want to buy that one next when I get rid of another one. It's just a beautiful teal colour. At the minute I'm just trying to go through what I have before I buy any more makeup. Would I 
like I would make them now. Could have done a bit of soft brown. So with these palettes, they're really easy to manoeuvre. So you just press the two sides down like this. And this bit here just kind of clicks out. So it just comes away like that. So that comes empty. I did stick other stuff in there and I made an absolute mess of it. So I kind of went back to using this. So oh, these are going to fall out. So what you do is behind here, you have little holes. So you just like... I'll just take one out. So you just press it in there like that. And these are all magnetized. The magnets in the back. So I'm going to be using soft brown. So I'll just leave that one there. And we'll just run this one through the crease. So I'm just going to get um, like a fluffier brush, something like this, and we're just going to go with my embark just in the outer corners. I'm just going to get a pointy airbrush, something like this pointy little pencil brush type one. I'm just going to go back in with Embark, I'm just going to run it under the bottom lashes. So I'm just going to put these back in their little... So you just press that back in and these fellas just slip in like that. So it's tricks and fluff. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that one is, but it's all in the new. So you can see the eyes are done really simple eye look. So basically, I know I did have feline, lip um not lip liner, eye liner, pencil, and it seems to have vanished. Like literally vanish. So I'm just going ahead and do another one, another colour off camera. But before I do that, I'm just going to put on my Prep and Prime lip base, just because my lips are a bit dry these days. It just makes my lipstick last a wee bit longer. So now I just went ahead and put some. Um, black eyeliner in the inner corner of my eye because for some reason I can't seem to find my feline which is just a black um just a black eyeliner but it's really 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 dark it's probably a bit darker than the one I have used but this one isn't a MAC one so it doesn't really matter now I'm just going to go and put on some lashes which I'm using the false lashes and um, extreme black mascara I really like this one I like the brush on it more than anything else I think it does have a maximizer which is on my Next purchase list. Oh, heartburn. <sighs> swear to God, I'm drinking Gaviscon these days. Like as if it's milk. They need to sponsor me. <laughs> this stuff is so expensive. But to be fair though, my heartburn was a hell of a lot worse for the boys. It was so bad. I would literally nearly get sick. It would come up that quick and I'd be like, Ugh. But this one isn't as bad. Not yet anyway. That could all change.
I've actually been planning on doing this video for so long. But every time I went to film it, I was like so sick and I was like, I can't be bothered. I really can't. I'm sort of get sick and I'm like, hmm. So I have two lipsticks here. Um, one is Love Honey and the other one is Creme de Nude. And these are the ones I wear the most. And sometimes I do mix them. I put Creme de Nude in the middle here just because it gives kind of like a highlighted effect and it also makes my lips look a bit bigger. So I'm just going to go put on a bit of Honey Love first. Which is such a beautiful shade of nude. It is a matte lipstick, so. But creme de nude is a cream sheen, I think. Yeah, cream sheen. And I know people think it's weird that I mix lipsticks the whole time, but I just do. I like. I like how it looks. See, it just gives that little bit of a. Oof. Now, what lip liner am I going to use? My go-to, of course, is Spice, but um, that one is teeny tiny. Where is it? I'll show you how big my Spice actually is. This is what I keep my um, my lip liners in, and it's actually it's down to the last. Yep. Look at the size of that. That's my Spice, my baby Spice which I'm going to use today. I have a bigger one around somewhere. Probably like everything else is looking at me and I can't see it. Okay. And I know some people put their lip liner on first, but I always put it on last just because when I go do that with my lips. I like the blend. And I like, I like a more fuller pout. I don't like, I don't like my natural lip shape because one side is round and the other side is pointy and you know what, you do you boo. By the way, who's watching Love Island? The drama. I think this has to be one of the best years for drama and scandal on Love Island, like literally. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of Anna. That's all she does in my opinion. But I like Amber, poor Amber. I'm not sure what to make of Curtis. I can't figure him out. Amora is just hilarious. Up the Longford girls. But I really did feel sad for Amy though. She seems, but you know what? She seemed too sweet to be in there. going out it'll be this lip but there'll be lashes of gloss on it I swear to god like the sun is going in and out the whole time it's really driving me mad so that is pretty much that look and again here I go my face plus because I can't help it and it's roasting mm. yes now normally if I was going out I'd wear lashes but I ain't going nowhere I'm going to pick up the kids from school um yeah so this is pretty much my video Normally, if I am wearing lashes, I will wear the number 48s, which are something like that. As you can see, mine are well-worn and well-loved. Um, or the number 6s, which are just a little bit more bigger and more voluminous and they've got a bigger curl. Um, yeah, pretty much that is it. C'est la vie. If you like what you've seen, give the video a thumbs up and like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that very, very much. Um, 
hopefully in the next couple of weeks god willing and i don't be sick um i will be doing a few more videos tutorials on more makeup if you've got any suggestions for anything write it down in the comments below i'll always get back to everybody um everybody i only ever been left about two comments what am i on about um yeah just uh yeah like and subscribe and um see you soon bye